I'm at my uh, garden patch in my native setting. Look, I've I really don't like stealing vegetables and meat and stuff, so I'm going to try and set up camp again until I get myself an apartment or fly to Malta. I haven't decided which one yet. It depends how much money I save. We've already saved 700 bucks. That's good. So it's a big difference from 200 bucks or so or whatever I had the other week. Um, and yeah, I, I don't like taking stuff from fucking groceries just because I'm not getting paid enough or Centrelink is not something I've had for 14 or 15 months or whatever it's been. Not my thing. So I want to, even after all this time, so I'm going to come back to this. There's enough sun out here, enough of the right aspect in terms of climate to get a patch going. A few carrots, whatever. Corn. Things I'll eat. Peas. I've got a whole bunch of stuff. I've already got them. I've already got all the seeds. And as for meat, I won't kill birds or anything like that. I don't like killing fucking animals. I'm not hypocritical. I just don't like doing the killing part. Um, I will if I have to, hence not being a hypocrite, but I, since people already do it for me, I might as well buy meat from the butcher or something. So I'll still buy meat from the butcher. I can, at least then, I'll have enough money to buy things. I won't need to knock off anything, any veggies. So this is where I'm at. I'm going to set camp here again. Hopefully, cops off duty don't get any cute ideas and try to destroy it again. Like, fuck, what are they trying to make me steal stuff? Fucking weird guns. Of course they are. Oh, look what he's doing. I told you he's bad. Of course I'm going to fucking steal to eat and live, you dickheads. Fuck people. White people are fucking deranged. Fucking spastics. <laughs> they attack me at work. They injure me. So obviously I couldn't work. I lost that job. I've been applying for jobs since. haven't been able to get it. And they did promise me that they'd fucking harass every person I apply for work through. From them hacking and that. Uh... Suddenly got knocked back seven times, and then they want to turn around and make me look like the mark. Fuck, they're bad. They're bad. But admittedly, I've taken a few things I shouldn't have. It is a bad habit. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, so I'm going to try and set up camp here. I think I am putting on a little bit of weight, so I'm going to try and get back down to 115 kilos or whatever, it, whatever it was I that I got to. And be super fit, admin. I'm fucking sexy when I'm skinny, when I'm ripped, or whatever you call it. So I'll try to get down to that good weight. 102, 103 would be good. Uh, in my earlier 20, in my early 20s, um, 93, 94 kilos look good on me. But now I'm coming close towards my prime, maybe four or five years away. My strength, adult prime, my male prime. I think. I've put on 10 or 20 kilos of muscle. No no joke. Of The muscle that's come on to me, wow. See, genetics are different. A lot of that usually happens to white people in their early 20s. They peak then. But with a lot of Southern Europeans, they peak into their mid-30s, early 40s. Uh, and like my grandfather, he was never as big as he was until he got fucking 45. At 45, he was a monster. His calves, everything. He was never that built, never that strong. So he peaked at 45, 50. So I've got fucking decades from that. <laughs> so, no, I'm, I think I'll try to lose weight while I'm out here too. Put up the boxing bag, do some runs in the morning, get really fit, do some sprints. There's plenty of parkland here. But yeah, the main thing is putting, uh, building the veggie patch, erecting a few tents, getting the power supply back up and just chilling out here until I save enough to get an apartment or go to Malta. I haven't decided yet. But it does look like, it, it does look like I will go to Malta. Now, whether to join the army and live there, or just holiday, I haven't decided. I am a citizen, so I can, I'm can i free to choose what I want. I'm a citizen of Malta, citizen of the EU. I'm not going to say that comes before Australia. I never have said that, have I? But I'm a citizen of Malta, and I love my heritage. Nothing wrong with that. I should also comment on the last video I made. I associated the government of Malta with doing some inquiries. I'll be more specific. This didn't happen under the current... Well, whatever association I made um, obvious or not obvious whatever I said it had nothing to do with the current government it didn't even have anything to do with Muscat uh, and it had to do like, it was like this is 10 or 15 years ago so I've known a lot of stuff for a very long time I like hiding things I'm very cheeky and then they come at you when you least expect you know, 10 or 15 or 20 years down the track I'm a cunt like that the patience of the Maltese the Maltese Australians don't underestimate it a lot of people wait days, months, years. Maltese people wait 30, 40 years just to 
you know, say, ah, but it wasn't that one. And really, they do. It's, you don't know what you're fucking with in terms of patience. The most Maltese, hands down, most patient people on the planet. They will wait 30 or 40 years just to say, I told you it wasn't that one. Every time. <laughs> so, uh... Anyway, you know, it, it was a government that was 10 or 15 years ago in terms of the people associated with the universities and very interested in you know, what people got stolen. Because ultimately, that's an international investigation. It's uh, They're actually allowed to do that, even in secret, because if you're investigating a crime, um, kidnapping 10 to 20,000 Maltese people under the British Empire, that's actually still a, by Maltese standards, uh, Maltese law is a bit different, uh, by Maltese law, it's still investigatable. Any crime committed by any active entity, now dating all the way back to when man first started walking, I think from off the top of my head, by Maltese law, they're allowed to investigate it. Highly uncommon. In practice, it's not like that. They're a very sophisticated uh, country when it comes to the law. Um, most politicians are lawyers in Malta. It's They've got like a high concentration of politicians that are lawyers much higher than we do fucking very high uh, robert big bob abella he's a lawyer um so lawyers a big thing for the maltese being a lawyer they love the law and uh they love every little fine intricate bit of it and how to maneuver it and how to you know, play fishing and do all sorts of stuff they interesting people but the point is by maltese law if 10 or twenty thousand maltese citizens even though Malta wasn't a republic then, if Maltese persons got kidnapped by a British empire, got kidnapped by an entity that still exists, although it's not an empire anymore, it's still an entity that exists, well, we want to know. We, this is where they went. And off came the very cheeky way of doing Maltese DNA testing. Coffee cups, eyelashes, you know, the typical stuff you see in movies. Probably was invented by the Maltese doing that fucking shifty shit. Tissue. Oh, here, do you want a hanky? Anything like that, fucking, you, you wouldn't expect it. And I doubt they'd talk with that accent either. They'd, talk, they'd, they'd, actually, they'd probably talk to you with a British accent. The Maltese, believe it or not, are very good with uh, changing accent. Even though they know their accent is their accent, they can put on an English accent better than the English. It's fucking scary. <laughs> and that's their legacy of having the British there for so long. Um, I think I can still do it very well, but I haven't done it for a while. Uh, very, oh, it's a very Yorkshire accent. Good evening. Oh, no. I don't want to do it because I laugh. It's the only accent I start laughing at when I try to do it. <laughs> I used to no. I, I haven't done it for ages. I've got to practice. I used to do the American accent very good, and the English accent very good, but the Maltese do it very, very well. I'm like better than the English do their own accent. It's just like, <laughs> how does that make sense? Um. So. Oh, yeah. The the Maltese had a right to come here and test coffee cups and eyelashes and all sorts of stuff and uh they found what they wanted apparently that these people how do they fucking how, how do they have maltese dna and how does that person have the same match as that person in malta if he fucking lives there and he lives there and he is sure that he's for his whole life he's got nobody in his family that's maltese so in other words if you're a mechanic if you're a even if you work at the police if, if you've had somebody strangely ask you in 10 or 20, 15 years ago are you Maltese? In a British accent, probably. No, you look Maltese. Are you sure you're not Maltese? No, there's no one in your family that's Maltese. No, 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 eighth generation, mate. They took you the whole fucking family transaction. And then, yeah, oh, you fucking look like you're Maltese. I've got this mate, he's Maltese. Fucking split image of him. Can't believe it. There's no one. No one in your family has Maltese. Oh, you fucking look exactly like him. Fuck me, Dad. And the Maltese would have pulled... Uh, this bloke is looks like Jim Demi, uh, Joe Demiquely. <laughs> probably was him. Fucking Joe Demiquely's a trickster. He's a comedian and a fucking genius. <laughs> he looks like Joe Demiquely. He's fucking short. He is the quintessential Maltese in terms of uh, native. He's dark, scruffy, curly black hair. Fucking... Oh, yeah, no. You know, typical Maltese. Fucking, uh, oh, fucking God, love them. And, uh, yes, there's brown snakes known to be around here. And I can hear one. They've got this particular character, brown snakes. 
Anyway, I don't worry about that when I see it. If it is a brown snake, it's pretty far and it won't go near me because I pose no threat and there's plenty of open space. Unless it just happens to be one of those very rare brown snakes that are very angry for some dumb reason. Um, anyway, <laughs> but always be on your lookout for brown snakes in the bushland. It's, it, it pays to be, uh, to be, I haven't, oh, there we go, there we go. Is that a fucking brown snake? I can see it fucking, it's tongue or it's head. I don't think it, oh, it could be a baby brown snake. Just get its face. No, it's a fucking lizard. Anyway, um, <laughs> about the, um, yeah, so this scruffy you know, Maltese bloke, was, if he was questioning you, but with not a, not with a Maltese accent, he could have done it with his accent, but I doubt it. It would have been with an English accent or something like that. Then you you would have been, uh, you remember, this is Maltese DNA testing for you. Confirming that 10 to 20,000 of our people got kidnapped around 1801 to 1810 and passed off as English persons. And are now very confused white persons who think that they're white privileged or something and happen to even be in parliament and the police force and think this country and all patriotism is about them. Fucking delusional cunts.